How's it going everybody? Welcome back and today I'm bringing you guys a quick comparison between NordVPN and PIA just to figure out which one could be the better choice for you. But if you're interested in the full reviews, you'll find the links in the description down below. You'll also find links to pricing discounts if you're interested. Okay, so very quickly. Uh, NordVPN is a VPN that gives you a whole bunch of options, okay? And that's really one of its, uh, let's say, main selling points. It's got over 5,000 foreign servers in 60 countries, whereas private internet access has uh, over 10,000 servers over 70 countries. Now, I think the main difference between NordVPN and private internet access is mainly going to be uh, reliability and consistency in unblocking streaming services. And NordVPN is definitely going to be your option to unblock streaming services over private internet access. However, private internet access does offer you a whole bunch uh, of options and customization settings here. So with protocols, you can customize the protocol however you want. You can choose your port and you can choose your encryption, your data encryption with open VPN, whereas you can't do that with NordVPN. NordVPN is made to be a little bit more user friendly than PIA. But you can just choose WireGuard, of course, with PIA and you're good to go. With the network here, you can use your PIA DNS, you can use custom DNS, existing DNS, and you can request port forwarding, which is not an available option for NordVPN. So if port forwarding is what you're looking for, then definitely uh, go with PIA over NordVPN. Uh, with privacy, you have a kill switch, an advanced kill switch, and PIA Mace, which is an ad blocker. You can buy your own dedicated IP, rather, and you have some automation options, split tunneling, multi-hop, and SOX5 proxies and shadow socks proxies for extra anonymity so yeah pia is definitely a vpn with many options now nordvpn still has options although well slightly different options now what we have here with nordvpn previously this was just an ad blocking capability but now they've added to it uh, the ability to block malware ridden websites it will stop trackers and it will protect your device from infected files before they download to your device okay which is a pretty cool little addition here they also added MeshNet, which will allow you to share files with whoever you uh, invite to share a file with over an encrypted connection which is a pretty neat feature you also have um, nord links which is the most powerful protocol uh, it's based on the wireguard protocol it arguably makes nordvpn the fastest vpn in the industry um, but you do have a wireguard protocol with private internet access which gives you really fast servers uh, but I've noticed more consistency with NordVPN. You have the kill switch, you have an app kill switch, split tunneling, custom DNS, and obfuscated servers if you're in a censorship heavy country. And you have specialty servers, including dedicated IP servers. So all you have to do is switch to OpenVPN and you'll get access to the dedicated IP servers. You don't have to pay for those. They'll always give you the same IP every time you return to one of these addresses. Whereas with dedicated IP and private internet access, you don't have any free dedicated IP servers. You just have to buy your own, which is definitely going to be pretty pricey. But if you don't need dedicated IP, you're going to have to go with Nord Links. Now, dedicated IP is uh, going to be very useful if you want to access, uh, let's say, your bank account from abroad. Now, with banking applications, if you keep signing in from different IP addresses, you might get blocked. Whereas with a dedicated IP, you won't be getting any of these security prompts from your banking application. And that's why most people use dedicated IP. It's just to avoid getting blocked by your bank application or e-banking application when you're abroad. Um, so yeah, well, overall, it, which one is better? It really depends on what you're looking for. If you want more servers, more countries, if you want port forwarding and customization options, go with private internet access. If you don't care about any of that and you prefer the features that NordVPN offers, such as the um, app kill switch, mesh net, the threat protection and whatever comes with it. Uh, and of course the uh, specialty servers which you have here on your VPN, double VPN, which is the same as multi-hop from private internet access and peer-to-peer -peer specialty servers and the consistency in unblocking streaming services, definitely better than 
PIA with regards to uh, unblocking streaming services, then you can just go with NordVPN. So that's pretty much it for this video. If you guys are interested in learning more about these VPNs, privacy policy, speed streaming, torrent capabilities, as well as security and features, uh, you'll find the full reviews down below. And you'll also find links to pricing discounts if you're interested in any of these VPNs. Uh, so feel free to take advantage of the discounts while they last. Besides that, comment below if you have any questions. I'll be happy to answer all of them. Like and subscribe if you'd like to support the channel and stay up to date with everything VPNs and cybersecurity. Thank you guys very much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. Have a wonderful day.